over the skies of Collier County. Strange lights captured the attention of people in Naples, and those lights were captured on security cameras. NBC2's Rick Ritter is live in Naples right now with what people are saying about those lights. Rick. Well, Kelly, whatever the showing of lights was, came and hovered over this pool behind me for nearly 30 minutes. Residents say they've never seen anything like it before. Experts, they're not quite sure what to make of it. You can take a look at the video yourself, though, and make your own assumption. This amazing video is the talk of Naples. I think this is unbelievable. I've never seen anything like this. Monday night, security officer Deborah Lee Thomas was watching the camera feed from behind a Gulf Shore Boulevard condo building just across the street from Venetian Village. She noticed strange lights swoop in over the pool. And I realized that it was something that was not normal. Here's what she saw. At first glance, it almost looks like a saucer-shaped object up top. Then it goes down into the pool and expands like a web, moving back back and forth. After nearly 30 minutes, it starts to disappear. Thomas says bugs fly up to their cameras all the time, but this was further away, dipping in and out of the pool. Was down on the ground, but some of that webbing was longer and it made a funnel down into the pool. We sent the video off to MUFON, a UFO organization in Ohio. They're analyzing it, but they don't think it's a hoax. That's what Thomas's co-workers thought at first until they saw it themselves. We watched it on the tape, and I, to be honest, I was so grateful that it was there so that I could say it was real. It really happened. On Wednesday, residents were walking in and out of the complex's office, checking out the must-see video. Oh, how cool. I've never seen anything like this. The, the electrical charges coming from it are just... Truly unbelievable. But what it is remains a mystery for now. Something Thomas is okay with as long as it doesn't happen again. Now we did show the video to a biologist at the Conservancy of Southwest Florida to see whether or not they thought it was an animal. They don't believe it's an animal. Meanwhile, officials at MUFON tell me this is one of the most fascinating videos they've seen in a while. Coincidentally, this pool is closed for the next few days for some cleaning. I don't think residents are going to be complaining about that. We're live in Naples tonight. Rick Ritter. Picked up a doily that was just hanging there. She said it just kind of looked webby. And then it just turned into that little, little flash of light and kind of just left. Little, though, it wasn't, it never went back till I came in. Right. <laughs> Whatever it was. Yeah. Oh. I got a, I got a two folder while I, I got it, because I was going to send this, give this to Kelly this weekend. Ben's grandson's five dying of mitochondrial disease. Mm. Their family's losing everything trying to keep him alive. And I thought, you know what, it's been in the news, I'm gonna give it to you guys. Mm -hmm. Give it to Kelly, but I'll give it to you. Something I was gonna ask her to